Welcome back to Bronco Solid. Today I'm going to show you how I removed and cleaned the contacts on an ECM and a TCM from a Volvo V70. Obviously this is a newer car, it has newer electronics in it, but cars are my hobby and I occasionally get roped into doing other projects as well. So that's coming up next. Bronco Solid. This shroud actually unclips halfway down and it will come out with a little bit of finagling. We unbolted the wiper reservoir here just to get a little bit of extra room and we also moved the power steering fluid reservoir out of the way. We didn't unbolt anything, we just unscrewed them and moved them out of the way so we could get a little more room. We've moved the pink slides underneath here. I'm going to show you those. This can actually be removed now. What holds it in there are these two pink slides. These slides have to move forward to the front of the vehicle before you can actually remove it. Both modules are out. The pink slides show you that this one is actually in the unlocked position and this one is in the locked position. This is how it would be if the module were in. This is how it needs to be for the module to come out. We modified a couple of these shims, rulers and things to get down in there. It was thin enough to get in there and apply some pressure. And you'll notice that over here, there's some leverage points where the actual tool that it's built for you can use, but we ended up using these as fulcrum points to end up moving those pink slides forward. To clean the contacts, we're gonna use deoxit five. I've turned the valve to go on low, and we're just gonna spray these contacts off. I'm going to work the contacts in and out after I've sprayed it just to kind of break up anything that may be along the contacts. Just plug it in and unplug it a couple times. I'm going to do that for both units. Now I'm going to let it go for a couple minutes and let that solvent work. We got the 5% solution that has a solvent in it and it's got a flushing action. It'll get, some rid of, it'll get rid of some of that corrosion. Okay, now we're going to put these back. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this screwdriver and I can push these pink slides into place. I'm just going to push them up in there where I can feel where they are. Apply a little down pressure and that'll help pull this whole unit into place. Now the slides are moved all the way up into place. Now we'll work the shroud back into place. When you're putting the shroud back in, make sure you get it into these slots that hold the units in place. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click here to see more videos. <laughs>